Right. Um, I didn't even get everything set up yet, and like, <laughs> I just opened the game. It told me to put in the time again, because I think that must have to be like to do with something with the um, five years kind of uh, achievement. But then I got this message saying, "Hang on, hang on." Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock and I appreciate that. That's how I know that you care about this experience you're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing it if, if the time you're setting are correct. Tell, tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want. Even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. All right, I'll let you play. Uh, get back to the video game now. What? <laughs> it's just like, okay, we'll get all weirdy meta on me. Accidentally play. Choose. Actually, should I just do that now? Yeah, fuck it, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Let's do that, like, legit right now and see if it, like, makes any difference. So, the game told me to, uh, choose whatever time I like. So, my favorite time. Please enter current time. So, it told me to choose whatever time I want. So, let's choose... Let's go into the PM for this one. There's probably, like, an achievement if you do the right one, but I'm just, <laughs> just going to go with 4.20, see if it changes it. Ah, 4.20 p.m., your favorite time of day. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now, I'm serious. How accurate 4.20 p.m. is? Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is 4.20 p.m.? Very inaccurate. Uh, I'll just put it all the way there. You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish I had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm. Perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip up Whip a couple of new ones up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. What is this, man? We haven't even started playing the game yet, and I've already, I'm already playing it, technically. So should be ready by the time I boot it back up. And I'll set it right this time. Can I skip this? No, I can't. It's all good, though. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Yeah, actually, I'll do this right as well. J just fuck it, why not? Confirm. Please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. <laughs> Please adjust the slider until the number five becomes the number nine. Oh, wow. Is IX like 9 or something? Oh, wait, we got 9 here. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. So, all the way. Which of the two made up words below is most appealing to you? Scrumptish, tush, or ocubunkel? I like scrumptush. Please don't adjust the slider. <laughs> okay, I won't, I won't. I won't this time. Do you know what time it is right now? Yes. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? Yes. What time is it anyway? Yes or no? Yes. I guess. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Yes. 
Help. Damn, okay, Monica. Calm down, like. Will you come back to visit me? Yes. Okay, so does it want me to exit the game again and do it, or nah? I don't know. I'm so... I'm so flabbergasted. We're not... We're, we haven't even... We haven't gone... It, like, I haven't pressed WASD yet. And we're already playing the game, like... Whoever... Like, Davey, you fucking madman. Like, how did you do this? What time is it? Oh, shit. Oh, it's just a click. Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all of the game's settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now, the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There is still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again, if you can find me. Talk soon. Ah, That's depressing! That, that, that's pure- No! I refuse! No! Don't do that to me, man! Just make sure to exit out that quickly. If you saw a word document there, you did not. You, 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 were, you were misconstrued. So... Oh, it's just... Oh, see, I see the loading down here where my mouse is, like, just underneath my name. Oh, that, that's such a pity, man. So I wouldn't have even got that if I just went straight into the game without setting the time. That's so weird. And we're still stuck in the second, par like, Stanley Parable game. Whilst we're still playing the first game. <laughs> it's like, bruh. Right, at this point, I guess then, we're just going to see if I can find any um, figurines. Or figlies, I think they were calling them. This is the story of a man. Yeah, no, we can skip this. We can skip this. It's all good. Huh, welcome back, achievement unlock. View all achievements. What is this? Uh, welcome back. Quit the game and then start it again. <laughs> Uh, play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday? Are they nuts? Do they really want me to keep Stanley Parable open for 24 hours? And they'll know it's Tuesday somehow? Click on the th 435 times. 435 times? 30 is just here, isn't it? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Yes. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, yeah. No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little <laughs> A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20. Mm. I have to say, I'm oh my God. the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Jesus, okay. Right. Ugh, let me turn the keyboard around. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling What? It. I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle. Stand I right. am. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 
Four one twenty clicks. Four one set. Wait, where is four one seven? Twenty. Twenty clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. That's back this way, isn't it? 43. Oh, that's this one. Excellent. Oh. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 15, wasn't it? 17, 16, 15. Now, back to door number four. Oh my god. Bro, they really are like making me just go backwards and forwards just because I glance at the achievement. Wait, three sevens back here, so. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? The copy machine? Where the fuck is it? Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it. Now. <laughs> getting somewhere. Okay, okay. I'll go to 417. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Can I? Oh, I can. Yes, this is great. <laughs> You're it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. We've almost got it. Oh, my God. Now gosh. the copy machine, do that one again. Uh, copy machine. Is that all the way back? Do I have to go all the way back? Yeah, I have to go all the way back. Oh my god. Uh, let's try it here too. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yes! We did it! Oh wow, that felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? Yeah. What were you thinking? Ah, uh, like, I, I hate that he's done that to me, but it's kind of gassed at the same time, like... Screw it, I think we're just gonna... We're gonna go to the meeting room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah. Trust the completionist instinct. Okay, so a large room, lots of boxes. And somewhere both red and blue. Red and blue, lots of boxes. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Oh, I thought if I went back in, he would have said something about it. I think down here there's a lot of boxes. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Because this is where one was, it was red. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, We're looping. maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Two, B, four. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Oh yeah, this and is this matter, sequence. These rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Oh, we're going to hit an ending. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that uh, it on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. Yeah. Oh wait, maybe this if I float up, dream. I can go through a certain oh, thing, right? Relief, Stanley felt. 
to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my... <laughs> no, oh my god, god, we have to list through the whole thing again. I kind of just want to begin again. Like, I, I don't want to wait through the whole thing. I'm like, but I'm scared if I click begin so again, we'll go out of two mode. Like. And began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was a. Oh, I'm so tempted. Okay, Grant, okay. Okay, I know from now on, if I begin the game again, it's not going to reset me all the way back. I need to not go that way because it's a bad ending. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I love how this room just never changes now. So, a room full of boxes red and blue. Boxes red and blue. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Now, we've already checked the bathroom. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and... But Stanley gets oh, I got it! Code by sheer luck. Four, eight, eight, four, two, eight, four, five. Bro, I guessed that, like... Him. Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. So, a room full of boxes. There's one here. Okay. Oh, wait. No, we're just going to come across Thing Room, though, aren't we? There's not going to be anything else down here. We're basically just playing the game as he wants me to. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown, unknown fate. fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. To be fair, I don't think I've gotten the ending where I have Stanley the bucket. Stanley and the bucket me. walk straight ahead through the large door <clears throat> of red mind control facility. No, see, if I go down there, that'll just kill me. Will it? Because, okay, so if I go through there, I'm trying to think, there's no nothing down there with that, I don't think. And I don't think there is either down here, Joe. I think you've just screwed it. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. <laughs> both. Nah, Bucket will be alright. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back, back on, on track. track. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very a painful, painful death, death for, for each, each of them. them. I haven't been here at the Bucket, so it's fair. A red and blue room. This is only red, though. Yeah, it's not here. Oh, man. Why this joke is even down here? It's just like, bro. Bucket inch closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what I must Stanley be able to get on that platform, sort of right? For so much but I don't have a job. A bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell. 
Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. Here's boxes. It's red, but there's no blue. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood, stood above, above the rest. rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. <laughs> the bucket. Welcome... Uh, the bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the pre uh, precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within. A, a cavernous void? Cavernous void. But though use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and sustained. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true wait i don't have i just realized i don't have the bucket now it's <laughs> just like how did i only just notice that and its history is the only true knowledge we really have will you take what you learn here out with you into the world will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness. Also, everything's. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short <laughs> life? Thanks, narrator. And things are blocked off for me now. This is a completely different exhibit. <laughs> this is but a, 25 buckets. A photograph of 25 buckets. The greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced a uh, catanonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from the exposure to this many buckets at once. I, I, I think that's more than 25. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. A bucket with two handles. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. Guys, I think we uh, I know what we got to do for a DIY project now. Inferno Bucket. A replica of the Inferno Bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerful... Uh, powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet, in spite of it all, the simple fact remains no one can control a bucket. It's made of wood, isn't it? No, it looks like it's made of wood. How's that? How's that like an inferno? I mean, we'll go up that way in a second. That's <laughs> a fucking tune. Cave drawing. While we know that buckets uh, predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. This fucking game, man, I swear. No man can own a bucket. Hmm. And certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. The stress bucket, uh, an anal analogy. Worrying, negative forecasting, negative thinking, lack of assurance, uh, vulnerability, size and strength of the bucket, coping strategies equals holes. And then stress, the level of water in the bucket, uh, the stress bucket, presented without commentary. Rest and relaxation, doing something you enjoy, rest and relaxation. Oh, so it was only up one that way, Joe. Okay, I guess we'll go this way. It's so weird, we've only started, I'm already finding so much new shit already, like. Bro, you gotta imagine there's something behind these. 
No, there's no red, Joe. I don't think the figure is going to be in here. The Hanging Bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance inevitably is for our own good. Oh, am I just going to fall down the hole? Oh. <laughs> I just pick up the bucket. Is it going to just reload me now to the set? something we can do. Something oh. we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Yes. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a... She said, don't do this, but I'm going to do this this time just to see what happens. I wonder if she'll cop on that I reset it back. Will she cop on and, like, actually try and interfere? Or did I just miss an ending there? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a Oh, meeting. that's it. Yeah, that's what the sign was. I didn't even read it properly. It's now the figurine finders committee meeting today in the meeting room. We're still to try and find things. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Kind of tempted to look up the other achievements. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to Okay, so entered the door on his left. A room full of boxes and a red and blue room. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps, perhaps it, it truly was. was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Oh, okay, so it is waiting, not going to do anything. I'm legit just waiting now just to see if something will happen. Truly, being here with the bucket <laughs> was a grand adventure. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. First, walking through the door on the right. Then walking to the lounge, then arriving <laughs> at the lounge. What a wow. Journey. Yeah, what, what a good journey. Inspired. Uh, and yes, by the way, if you're asking, cat ears are stuck on me until Perhaps six. This was where the bucket felt most truly at home. Here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. I can't go back. It won't let me interact with the door. Stanley decided to just give the bucket absolutely as much time as it needed to be in the lounge. Clearly, the bucket and the oh. employee <gasps> lounge I got off. shared a special connection. I can't believe I actually did this. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Right, back down we go. It's like, like glitching on top of things in Faz. That's another game I have to play on stream at some point. That'd be gas. Oh. I'm doing something to the vending machine. I'm standing in that little, like, hole just there. Nah, I can't bug it out at all. Uh, okay, I can't say. Like, if you if you wanted to see what happened at the start, yeah, you're, like, 29 minutes late. <laughs> but, like, it's alright, though. As I keep saying every stream, like, these uh, VODs get uploaded to YouTube anyway. But, yeah, no, I'll just recap this real quick. So, basically, when I started the game, it wanted me to set the time again. And I actually talked to um, a thing at the start of the game, or a person, uh, that's like, oh, yeah, keep quitting in and backing out, and, like, I'll, I'll tell you these bunch of things, and... Then I went in and out again and set the time properly again. It's like, you know what? You're the only guy that ever really sets the time right. Thank you for that. You know what? Next time you come into the game, I'll have a few sliders for you for questions. And I did that. And then eventually it's like, okay, there's nothing else I can do with you now. Next time you boot up the game, I can't, like, talk to you anymore. So maybe see you in a future day. Well, not future day, but I said see you later. It's very depressing. It's like, <laughs> I literally just started the game... 
And, like, it was so weird. It's like, th I'm already playing the game, even though I'm not in the game. Like, I didn't even have to click W, A, S, or D yet. But, yeah, then I went to the game. Uh, I went to the left. I got the um, female narrator to stop the thing from squishing me whilst having the bucket. Uh, bucket sacrificed itself, apparently, even though, like, we both kind of, well, nearly got squished. But as I walked towards the museum thing, but the bucket just disappeared from my hand. And then it was just, like, a tribute to the bucket. And now I'm going through this again. She was going to say, oh, Stanley, you kill yourself and let the bucket live. But I was like, no, restart. And she hasn't said anything since, so, yeah. Maybe I should have gone left again, actually. It doesn't matter. We're already going this way. The bucket was done being in the lounge. And they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. A room full of... Oh, yeah, wait, a room full of boxes. Hold on, I might actually have to go in here. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. I'm also looking for the um, figurines as well. Have I... Yeah, no, I haven't really been down that lift much, have I? There's no... Nothing in here. I know if I go down there, I'm going to read the whiteboards like a room full of boxes, which I've already tried just here now. Oh, that's why I was going right, because I want to go into the storage area to see thing, but it doesn't matter. We can always see where that blue and red room is, so yeah, fuck it. Let's go down here. I, I don't think I've gone down here much. I think like I've used this elevator like once. Yeah, it's still weird oh, to think, good, like... Stanley, oh. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. Oh, what? Can I go back up? Nope, the, the, the arrow is only down, Joe. <laughs> and there's a line see, on the ground. Your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. I don't know, I have but to see you in day. around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first <laughs> game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their the favorite, favorite jokes, jokes. Not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. <laughs> Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? We could make the Adventure Line go somewhere new. Oh. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Wait, who's driving the truck? Bro, what? Like, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Oh, we go. Wait. Oh no, it's something assets. Raw assets. I thought that was the Steam reviews again. Can I go through the bloom broom closet? <gasps> I can. Okay, never mind. There's nothing here. Or is there? It's like fucking Monsters, Inc. You keep opening and closing the door and a monster will appear. Okay, it's, nothing's gonna happen, Joe. Hello, my wife. How are you doing? My computer that never does anything. The thingy room with all the monitors. The left and right door. The interrogation room with the phone? No, the phone's not there, though. It looks like it, though. There's the baby. <laughs> the baby. Oh, the... <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Look at that perspective! <laughs> oh, my God. That's what happens when you turn up your field of view. I guess I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, I literally have nowhere else to go. Um, To go there. To go where? Do you just mean, like, follow the line? Because I'm basically just going to follow the line right now. There's, like, nowhere else I can go. And I can't even drop the bucket either. Nah, can't drop it. Right. Let me just follow the line. So, room full of boxes, red and blue light. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Oh my god, this music... Have you... You have to use thing one and type no clip. Ah, no, nah, I won't bother. I won't bother doing that. Oh, wait. Raw assets. Engine import. Oh, 
Right, I guess we're just following the line now. I say that as I veer off course. Oh my god, we're back in the office now. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> what? It's, it's Wait. As classic now as it was back then. I never heard that Still line before. Fans, Stanley, let's give them more content exactly like this. But if okay, we we're in the portal that, room. You're going to have to give something up. Oh, is he talking about the bucket? <laughs> he just wants me to give up the bucket now. Gotta try every door. Because I saw an achievement where it was like, click on a door five times, and I went on an adventure with that as well, like. Well, that's close. I'm not going back that it, way. Stanley. We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Bucket Destroyer? Oh. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley <laughs> True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Not really. I think you're going insane with power. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Absolutely sure, not. You don't need me to spell it out for you. Yes, please spell it out for me. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. But, but, but what if I don't? No, just, just what if I don't? Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. <laughs> Literally, yeah. How does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. <laughs> okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We no. can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable gag. Like the adventure line or the bucket destroyer until you crush that Jesus. damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans. No, mine. Ow, flashbanged again. <laughs> Is this just the fucking bucket destroyer now? Just bucket flowing. Destroyer. My prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Okay, but, like, are we dead? Think fast, Chuckle Nuts! Uh... Every time the screen goes to white, I can only say flashbang because it reminds me of that meme. Oh, yeah, okay, we're starting from the start again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the Right, we're going that way again, but this time I'm going to destroy the bucket. I'm sorry, it has to be done. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket, bucket calling, calling to him, him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. <laughs> Stanley took the door on his left to go. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. I wonder if it is going to show that, like, thing place again or nah. I have to remember as well to come back here without I'm the bucket too. Way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. 
<laughs> I love how they're getting jealous over a fucking bucket, like. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? Yeah, let's we do it right now. The adventure line goes somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's... Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes. I seriously have it's never heard that line. Back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more. I hope I get to hear that line like at this. some point. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. Aye, aye. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality <laughs> that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Yes. Wait, what if I can't actually put it in? Does. Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket. Oh, I, I can't. It, the machine when you're ready. It, it legit won't let me put it in. Stanley! Throw it! It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I, I, I'm I don't know what the boss, bucket I'm trying. It won't let me. Destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. I'm gonna keep trying until it explodes. How does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, Stanley, you please let go of the bucket, destroyer, please, I beg. That its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance, nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet, certainly not. I wonder what sort of bucket destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. I'm trying. It won't let me. Hurry and... Okay, so it's just the same way. It's it's not going to change that. Uh, okay, now I need to go this way without the bucket. All of this could we'll go down the elevator. Gone. What could it mean? What could it Stanley mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had. Sorry, Bogart, you stay there this time. I really was thinking though they were going to allow you to throw there. came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee, employee lounge, lounge first, just, just to admire it. it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. <laughs> and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order uh, to get it's not back, down he here anymore. On, uh, Oh, it's this part. From here, it's um left. He's gonna close on me. Oh no, no, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? <laughs> it's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Yep. Don't worry, I'm holding. Now, let's see, we went so, down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. And there's no other way, correct? Actually, let me just see first. No, no. 
now. And then if I go through... Wait a minute. What's the point of that door? I just... <laughs> Wait, what's the point of that door if you just go down the stairs? It just leads to a brick wall. But wait. Yeah, that's brick and that... You know, I'll, I'll stop questioning it. Oh, we're back here. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um... <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Oh, no, please, stop. this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. From the top. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay, I'm still leaving the bucket behind. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he am I? Oh, wait, the bucket... Huh. Where's the bucket farther ahead? No, it's not here. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, Oh, what? my God. No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter which one of these I go through. It's all just a big maze. I mean, Joe, you're the one that said it yourself. It doesn't matter. Like, it's a big maze. Wait, that looked different. No, it's not. Oh, it is. Oh, never mind. It just temporarily changed. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely... This is like the back rooms, honestly. ...over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Ugh. <sighs> All of his wait, wait, all the balloons are gone as well. What mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And, yep, straight to this room. And now there's no doors. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Yeah, we're missing the bucket, the balloons... And so much more. I swear there's like so many office like places we're missing as well. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our Oh, steps. this is where we meet the lion, I think, for the first time. Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. I do think it is correct. Do you correct. remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yes, thank you. My second win. Harder, my second dub. And it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, oh. I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. Oh. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Restarting once again. There we right. go. Oh, wait, it's <laughs> the Stanley Parable 2 adventure line. To make sure we don't get lost. I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? 
The fact that it's called the Stanley Parable Line 2 is actually kind of gas. They could have just left it as the Stanley Parable Line, but like, nah, you know what? This, this is the second iteration. See, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination oh, just is inevitably called <laughs> into being? I think I did that last time as well. Of the nature of life itself. Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. <laughs> got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh yeah, the music's back. Oh wait, a room full of boxes. Nah, never mind. Oh my god, this place again. It's gone. It's <laughs> just, I broke it. Fine. Wait. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. No. What if I actually don't? Wait. What what? We're back at the office? No. 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 Line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? Oh, wait. The story. Is any of this ringing a bell? Wait, yeah, we followed. The, okay, I think this way. Is it? Oh. oh <laughs> no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything oh, we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <laughs> Restart. Oh, now it's just the Stanley Parable eventual line. You know what, Stanley? I still Aww. forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we I want to go this way, though. Story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Actually, now that I realize it, but the office isn't closed yet. Feels like the first time in ever the office doesn't close itself from behind. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. <laughs> Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. Wait a minute. Never thought about that. Yeah, actually, what if you just turn off the subtitles? What happens then? I never thought about that. He'll just turn himself back on one. Oh. oh, no, no. Okay, never mind. He'll still speak. Nah, okay, fine then. I thought for a second he was going, did you just turn me off? I'm like, no, definitely not. We get to make a decision. 
From here, the story is in our control. Yes. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Yes. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Okay. Just walk in circles for a minute. <laughs> okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So, starting from the right, let us ask will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Do I have a choice? Nope, I don't have a choice. Oh, okay, there we go. The confusion ending. Oh, I think I, I got here in better time. The maintenance room end up in monitor room. Narrator restarts the game. Let's go to two doors. Turn around. Turn monitor room. Four. Venture into an unexplored territory. Find the line again. Restarts the game. Forgets about previous restarts. Stanley attempts to play the story but is prevented. Unable to go anywhere or do anything. Game restarts on its own. Sex restart, find the line again, begin oh, Okay, wait, forget? so I need this half. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. Hmm. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really No, it can't be. I d I don't want it to be. I so he has to restart the game. I don't want to forget what's going on. And then he forgets. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't. Just gonna save a screenshot of it just in case. And the timer to stopped. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that Previous made this restart. schedule. Previous restart. Plans to play a story but is prevented, unable to go anywhere or do anything. The game restarts on its own. Happened? Find a line again, begin following the line. Find an identical replica sure. of the office that has begun to deteriorate. Okay. Make to attempt to make up a story here. Narrator restarts know, the game. I suppose in some Seventh way, restart, there's no longer an office. Story. Simply black space. Agree? Wander in the oh, blackness. Sure find a bookstore. Get bored and leave. Narrator restarts the game. Eight restart. The narrator is gone. After a long time, Stanley dies. we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Okay, there's the restart. He's gonna forget everything that's happened, and I need to be... I'm gonna be stuck. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. No. No, the orders were still missing. For now. Okay. Wait, that's different dialogue, though. What the fuck? I don't think I've heard that before. And we're in the second version of the game, because we have to get well someday. I'll leave Bucket behind. This one I need to do on my own. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Where's my achievements? Or not achievements. Oh yes, Joe, you're gonna be able to read that. Where I'm so confused. How do I even see things screenshots? I'm i I'm dead confused. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I know what anyway to do. Well, not really, actually. Mm, okay, so thing restarts. I'm meant to be stuck, but I'm not stuck, so... Uh... Office time? This is still here. Must be appointed. Is this some kind of game? Gotta collect them all. Somewhere both red and blue. A large room. So yeah, a large room, lots of boxes. I still haven't gone that way yet, like. Oh no, oh no 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not gonna encourage you. I'm not coming to a staircase. <laughs> Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. 
Oh no no I don't want to go in there. That that's a, that's just a game end. Yeah, you know, fuck it. Let's just let's just do the original first way I played the game. Let's just do it. Two, six, Stepping four, into his manager's five? office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Uh, that kind of anxiety sorry. isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <laughs> this is new as well. 2845. I'm never going to remember it. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. So yeah, wait, what happens if I try to do the game now? Loading. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, honestly. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought, thought to himself. Did he have the strength, strength to, to find, find out? out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stand Still haven't figured out like how the this works. So I never looked the numbers enough. Because some places are fired and someone is glitched. Two, three, four is glitched. One in the four is fired. Six hundred and one is fired. Hmm. Two, three, four. I have to remember that if this I ever see two, three, four. Facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason? The, honestly, the way this elevator works kind of reminds me of Portal. I'm not gonna lie. Manipulated to accept it blindly. The way it assembles itself. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His yes. own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machine... <laughs> you can play what? I do not know what play M means unless you just uh, accidentally typed M at the end. Blackness. Yeah, if I ever bother. Rising chill of uncertainty. Because I'm not really feeling it right Was now it to actually download it and shit. Yes. He had won. I he have had won. Defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from I think this took me like. Command. Under Freedom half an hour, to true, maybe 20 away. minutes, maybe under 20 minutes, and yet, to get this first even ending. As the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries? Oh, yeah, I, the machine's grasp. Um, but as some the narrator's the one that let me out for some reason. None of this mattered to him. And it was not knowledge or even power that he had I still don't know where everyone's gone. But I think it's just all a part of the story. His goal had not been to understand, but, but to, to let, let go. go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. 
It was I might need to look up where the figurines are. Knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Can I, can, let, 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 there you go. I'm Stanley stepping through. Felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of Stanley, can you have a big look behind you? Like, what's behind me? The new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. And that's it, isn't it? There's nothing else to that. Have I done this with the bucket, though? <laughs> it's just like, I'm just thinking now of every possibility. Even though we couldn't destroy the bucket, but we could still pick up the bucket and bring it to the end with How us. Wonderful. Stanley was alone. I want an excuse Finally. to keep playing, because I don't want to just go straight to just Stanley looking up the, the where the smile. figurines are. I want to see how much I can figure out on my own. Alone. Not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his and left. Actually, is there any more hints in here? <laughs> C dot dot slash clue slash my clue dot jpeg artist rendition Help <laughs> help I'm a postis I can't tell where the others are I could just tell the ones in the toilet which I already picked up This one's the same To whom it may concern, I managed to pick up sounds unusual to our regular office ambiences or local audio sources using an array of cardioid microphones, also known as directional mic, a microphone which picks up sound from a particular area. Analysis of the recordings allow me to triangulate the source of the strange noises data shows that, in all likelihood, it's coming from a dark area behind a war very warm place. I also picked up what looks to be reverberance off a porcelain surface. Anyone have any ideas? Porcelain surface. Because they probably tell you in here. Weird spinning figures. What do they want? Our data, stock, options, money. Should we make them something? Maybe, yes. Or make them interns. Why do they kind of look like two, 427? <laughs> Artist rendition, employee, uh, why floating? Magic are quarterly success. Magnets, training exercise by magnetism. Management, dreams. Ideas, 1516, another number which I think is five that's scribbled and seven that's scribbled. How many are there? Oh, no, so it's telling me there's six, and I know there's six anyway. <laughs> Can we sell them? More dollars if sold together. Uh, obviously. Sell one in cargo room. Employ 421 building a bridge. Uh, ideas. Do we need contracts for them? NDA, non-disclosure agreement, uh, potential liability, bonus stuff. What we know, what we forgot, what we don't know yet. So... Yeah, I keep forgetting that I need to go to that place. But first, we'll do this ending with the bucket. Trust the completionist instinct. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless, to be honest. Warehouse access plan. Produce one plank to allow use of access past fence. Construct bridge to allow collection of shiny flow. Retrieve Chris's remains from the warehouse floor. Construct new structured sound bridge. Okay, red dot. Stop kidding yourselves. Who are you? 666 lol. There will be cleaning of this wall required. There will be a reward for finding them all. Lies. Wow, I think that's the first time I've read the whole room. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. To the boss's office. Two, four, five, Stepping eight. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional five. dumpster fire. But Stanley guessed the correct code. By oh, there you go. 
Was it the bucket you all along? Yes, was it was the, the bucket. bucket. All the bucket. No, it's never me. This is certainly the like, all the rest of my brain cells are stuck in this bucket. That's why I carry it with me. My head only contains two brain cells. That's how it works, bro. And then a third one pops in every so often, gives me a brilliant idea, and it works really well. I praise the third brain Stand cell. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control, control facility. facility. See, I'm assuming this is just going to be the same shit, actually, now that I think about it. But I still want to do it anyway. Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. So next, what horrible I go secret did this place hold? Stanley right. and the bucket both yeah, wandered that way, to themselves. Yeah. After this turn, go right door and go down that way. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone <laughs> in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst, <laughs> very tears. burst into Stanley tears. Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Wait. Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds oh, okay. of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. <laughs> At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power. There must be a secret in here as well. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up, up against, against the, the world. world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket <laughs> made a sassy comment about taking down the system. <laughs> uh, Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it, was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley oh, wanted yo. to sneeze in every country on Earth. Uh, what? Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. That's weird. It's true, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and to... Wait, what? What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Oh no. Wait. Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Ah. Oh. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence. <laughs> needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. Go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. <laughs> as long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Oh, still walking. Oh, never mind. I'm not walking anymore. 
Oh, okay. You know, actually, that's a lot different than I thought it was going to play out. I didn't think the doors were just going to close again. All of this could oh, but man, do I go right or left? Because I kind of thought Stanley of another thing I could do on the left. The room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The Screw it. Bucket. Just stand me in the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I love the jingle every time I walk in this room. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. Wait, you what? You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy. It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now. <laughs> you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom <laughs> closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley. I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? Bruh. That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an <laughs> even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Ah. Uh, I don't think I can do anything. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. The <laughs> property of Stanley. Now settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. <laughs> Oh, okay, All I'm right. right. I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. <laughs> I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, oh, it's a bucket. <laughs> there really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Okay, do I wait or... Like, do I walk in and out again like this? You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be it, honest, it's always I'm been sick silence. of the pettiness on display. You can stay here silence, all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever <laughs> seen. In. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. I just heard a click sound. Okay, are we, are we done now? I think we're done. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Has anything changed in here? Knows what the oh, because the boss knows what the boss says goes. If the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Okay. Lovely reflection as per normal in any kind of video game. 2845. 
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical, logical explanation. explanation. Right, I swear, it, there has to just be like... This one where the facility is about to explode. And then there's that other way I want to try and see if I can find another Stanley figure before maybe just leaving it there and moving on to another game. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the Mainly large portal. Of the red mind control facility. Wait, if I tried to No. Yeah, no, if I tried to leave now. I'm just thinking, right? If I left now with the bucket that says property of Stanley. I'm so bro, I'm actually no, don't do this to me. Don't make me replay this. Look, Joe, do this. Go to the right. If you can't find another figure, leave it, all right? Just watch somebody else do it instead, like. You don't need to go through every single, like, branch of story in the game. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been too Oh wait! Things, if the building likes this bucket so much, it won't explode, right? No way, wait. Now I'm actually really curious. I hope it doesn't start the countdown sequence to explode. I need to see no. this now. He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Never. He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart but of the here operation. Was the proof. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. The bucket Stanley did that? gasped in horror. Bucket! Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? <laughs> Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Oh, it's different. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Uh... <laughs> what? Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned Penguins! This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind what? controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands. The one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Oh, it's going back to start. Now. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here. <laughs> living through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all Man, the I didn't think they'd include Dolan and Dark in the game. That's mad. This one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. I guess we just keep looking. Yep, that, okay, that's it. <laughs> just, oh, that was weird. Oh, it's different again. The office changed. The narrator's not speaking. Hey, Bucky, you Where come with me. Going today, oh, there, there, there he is. Stanley just oh, we're, we've gone straight they here. Together would be perfectly fine with him. Two things. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest 
and entered the door. Oh, it's still property of me as well. Let's go. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling, calling to, to him, him, telling him that the, the employee, employee lounge, lounge was, was simply, simply the place to be. And here it, here it was. was. Had the bucket uh, turned out to be correct? correct? No, 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 never, never mind. mind. The, the bucket, bucket was wrong. wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. There's a balloon in here no. as well. Said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere <laughs> else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo ah. lift. Ah! Found it. Finally, Joe, you've listened to yourself. How is this stable? You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. <laughs> There'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Actually, yeah, that's virtually impossible for me in the game to do that. So I... Oh, there's a vent. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm falling. Where have I fallen to? Oh, what? Oh, another different way? There's no way. Have I been? No, there's no way I haven't been here. Okay, cassette tapes all over the place. Okay, Joe, this is in the red and blue room. You don't have to look around. But, I mean, I guess you might as well look around whilst you're at it. Oh, I, okay. I didn't actually think that would work. Okay. This is day number 290. Oh, I think this is when he says it. I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... Is everything desaturating? What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. <laughs> it's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This... It's my golden ticket, but I have to be careful because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? Okay. Uh, uh, oh, okay, that happened. And now I have a meeting flyer in the, this room as well. Has my desk gotten bigger? It feels like it has. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Wait, somebody's following me? Bucket, please. I actually need you this time. A strong bucket, a humble bucket, a committed bucket. 
a bucket of culture and distinction. I don't know if I'm being lied to. I think I hear something behind me. Why would he just say there's something behind me? Don't do that. Okay, so... I'm trying to think then. Where the hell... How do I even get to somewhere that's red and blue? Because all I can think about is the red and blue door choice. But I can't even remember how to get there. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Well, that's how you need to turn a red light on in here. Was this? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. So I'm actually kind of curious to see if there's anything else there, but I don't think there is. I think it's literally just like that vent, and then that's it. Right. Um, I haven't been that way in a while. I can't remember what... The, actually, maybe that would be a way, right? Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley There's something up there I need you to do. Bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. There's no narration. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says Aww. no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this <laughs> point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness. I think we have to do something about Don't play it. a video. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly. Oh, I need to, so if I restart I need to leave the bucket the behind. Is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please step in here for a moment. That's not dark and ominous at all. Oh, we're loading. Oh my god, it is. Oh wait, it's a game show! Well, I'm going to run you through some test is it? Scenarios. Yeah, it's a game and show. You tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. <laughs> Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is, is not, not a, bucket. a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item 1. Is this a bucket? I could choose both, I think. Oh, well, I, I can choose one of the Wait, what? It's a hologram of a bucket, not an actual. Uh, 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 no proof. Show me proof. Item two. Is this a bucket? Do what? It. it is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not uh, an but actual. But it's, it's still, it's still a bucket when you 3D print it. I ah, hear, come on. Three. Is this a bucket? No, screw this, I'm out. Uh, okay, fine. I'll just say yes. Correct. Finally! This is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? You know, fuck it, yes, it is. That's a bucket too. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. 
To think they have an asset of the tractor in this game just for this one moment, like, oh my god. Is this a bucket? You know, fine, I'll say no this time. Bruh, now it's yes! This is a bucket. Oh, and you're not gonna even- it's not even gonna explain why it's a bucket. Okay, cool. Item six. Is this a bucket? The other buckets weren't, so yes. Trick question. Both. both. Gotcha. Uh, why both, though? He's not telling me why I'm right or wrong. Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. Should be around here somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. There's nothing here. Of course, it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Unless, is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? You know what? I'm too confused to even sort <laughs> out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now, I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay. Here we go. I can't even choose. What happened? Is everything gone? That means everything if everything disappeared, everything was a bucket. a bucket. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I am not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. <laughs> yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And yeah. we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. <laughs> that is what that information might do to a person. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're good. Yep, the office is normal. And there's still... Okay, so I need to go this way without the bucket this time. I'm sorry, bucket. I've got to leave you behind. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge and first, just, just to, to admire, admire it. it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. So I but need Stanley to go onto the catwalk and see if I can go forward here. from there. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust, trust in, someone in someone else can, can be difficult, difficult. But the fact, the fact is, is that the story, story has been about nothing, nothing but you all this time. time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Let me prove it. Let me prove that. Was that I'm always there? Side. Give me a chance. Like I know it was there last time. Was that? Oh, no, here it is. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door, and there it is. The last Stigly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. <laughs> so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements. You've insisted that a job well done is its oh, own reward. Lord. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, 
Instead, I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Uh, I'm gonna go through red. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? <laughs> I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. Oh, they're both open. Are we good? Are we loading? Oh. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? The yeah. fuck? Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel the light boundary. <laughs> Rika was right all along. There is a light boundary. I think it's called. Can't remember what they called it in the anime. God, this is fucking with my eyes. I don't know why. Just looking directly at it, like. <laughs> no, but man, it's, oh yeah, I didn't even mention. I read an achievement. It's like. Play the game on a Tuesday, like for the entirety of a Tuesday. <laughs> it, 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 it. Hold on, I'm gonna bring that up whilst this light show is on. Where is it? Here it is. Commitment. Play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. Complete the Stanley Parable in under 4 minutes and 22 seconds. To all the settings sliders in the menu to all available numbers. Don't play the Stanley Parable for t for 10 years. Jeez. They changed that one. It used to be five and now they've just changed it because it's the Ultra Deluxe like. That would mean that I'd have to pick up the game again in 2032. Assuming that I'm actually still alive and well like. Not to say there's something wrong with me. It's just like it doesn't feel like anything like. I'll even, even still have things by then. I'll probably, hopefully, have a family by then, like. Be like, ah, oh, kids, look at this game. Look, let me show you something. Dad, d did you just get an achievement? Ah, yes, my son. That is because I left this game for ten years. Okay, can I just leave now? Oh, I can. No, wait. Where are you going? Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Don't worry, I'm not gonna die. It's very, like... Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. <laughs> well, I guess I'm killing myself. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, uh, let's go back to room. Let's see if he changes or says anything if I go back. Why all this effort, though, to just jump off? And how am I only finding this now? That's a drawing. A kid's drawing, to be particular. Maybe I do have a family. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there, hmm? Just... Just stay here. It's <laughs> just like, okay, fine. I'll just go back again. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. So wait, can I just keep going in and out of the room and it'll say something? Are you... You are going to stay here, aren't you? No. I'm just getting you to, like... Trigger your dialogue. Oh, he's not saying anything now. He's just sick of me just going in you and out. You hurt me before, didn't you? 
You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? <laughs> it's funny just fucking around with him, honestly. I wish there were stars right above. That would make this the best place ever. I don't know what they're using for this, but it's cool, like. Imagine no clipping out the map and seeing the whole game. Like, that'd be weird. You just see, like, this little sparkly section, and it's like, what? Alright. Sorry, narrator. Looks like this is the only way out. You wrote in the game before about me dying, so... How about I choose, like, last time? Like, at the start of the game. No! Oh. Thank God. You lived. Oh, I'm slower. me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Wait, hold on. Let me stop moving then. Does anything happen if I just stop moving? Potentially. Maybe. Probably not, Joe. I don't think so. Let's get out of here. I'm guessing I have to jump off again and then I can die or something. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Okay, I'll do what you say for now. I, I like the way he could close that door at any time, but he's not bothered, like... Probably the first time in a while in a choice game no. that I bothered to no, go no. like what are you doing? play the Steve game over just and not over. Believe me? What can I say to convince you? Tell me what the figurines are for. I won't jump if you tell me. Ow. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? I think I'm limping now. Yes. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? <laughs> I just love the way it's just the backwards and forwards until I actually split my knees open. Like No, perhaps not. I'm sorry, narrator. I have to see this through. I didn't think there was so much... Like, content I still haven't, like, looked at yet. Hopefully when I go back to the figurine oh room, like... Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Damn, I actually feel bad for him. Jumps anyway. Oh, Maybe wow. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along, but I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. I really do feel bad for him, but nothing's going to happen if I stay in that room, unless I have to stay in there for hours or something. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Ah. That was a sad ending, honestly. Right, we need to go to the meeting room. Oh, uh, never mind. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines. Those oh yeah. Figurines. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. <laughs> Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? Oh. I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time. Okay. Haven't been here in a while. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. 
Oh my god. The memory zone. Oh, we're just going straight down, I guess. Wait, is there anything else different? I don't think so. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Uh... Wait, what do you mean, seven? Oh, no. What have I done? I've collected another one. Oh, here's the next one. In the bathroom. And here was a second Stan Marine. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. <laughs> I've got eight now. <laughs> Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Under the stairs. I do believe it was anyway. There it is. No, 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 no. Under the stairs was the fourth place you found a fig and me. Oh, the third. So sorry. Well, I guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Memories like these are so precious and so cherished that they all just sort of blend together, don't they? You know, yeah. if under the stairs feels like the third place you found a collectible, then who am I to go making judgments? <laughs> Nine of six. So are we gonna go to the third place Let's one? See. What came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. We didn't. Well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone. Oh my god! So it must have happened. The room is pink, and there's an apple. Nah, is this referencing pink ladies, like apples or something? Because like, what other reference is this? I've literally never seen this room in my life. Oh, is this? Yeah, no, I this found the fifth, fifth one. Yeah, stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the well. Oh. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate oh my gosh. the occasion. Enjoy. <laughs> No, you can't actually throw this in. No, <laughs> they literally use Windows Movie Maker for this as well. Oh my god, why are they recording on Fraps? You found it near the cargo lift. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Credits the director. I used to fucking do this as well. I swear I had a video where I did something like that. I didn't have a copyright though. Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. That was a good video, the narrator. You should consider making a YouTube channel. And then become a streamer in the future. And the last room. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. I have 12 of 6 now. Okay, lovely. Ah, oh, they, they both lead the same way. I love when they do that. It's so gross. What have we got now? You are in the present. 
the past. Oh. And then there was no more because we've caught up to the present moment. You are in the past. Oh wait, on the screen it says you are in the past. The future. Goodbye, memory zone. No wait, I wasn't done. I wanted to look at thing to see if that would say like uh, future. No, no, no! I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. <laughs> some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines. Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. I, again, I love how like when you look through the screens, it's like different. It's like you are in the past, and it says there you are in the present. Wait, the plant. Narrator, are you going to make a comment on the plant that's now kind of wilting? Can't even get water. I guess we'll go backwards. Oh, maybe I can go into that other room then and get that okay, spare yes, figure. The room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. Oh my god. No. I have to keep collecting the figures over and over, do I? There should have been an achievement called Collect All the Figures. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, I love that. Video. I love it as well. It's such a good video. I hope they uploaded that to like official YouTube channel or something, because a lot of people would love to watch that over and over. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room though, a solid room. This room creeps me out, honestly. Oh, I can't even go up the These stairs. really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. 16 out of 6. You know how it do be. Oh, wait. Can I go down now? I can. So I could either go backwards to collect the boss's bathroom one, or I could go to boss's office. Oh, it's blacked out, isn't it? Oh, I can't. Oh, man. Okay, maybe if I got it right in the first place, it wouldn't have happened. Oh, well. Maybe on the way back we can. He'll probably ask me again. Okay, Stanley, I know you know this, but please tell me which one it was. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. And then this. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Can we even go through the exit? Oh. Collect them all. You can find them. You can find them. You can find them. You can find them. Oh, wow. This is what comes after this. <gasps> the circle! Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Oh god, we're just gonna reset the whole game at this point, like... Oh my oh, god. Yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Oh, and they're both, the, yeah, they both lead the same way. Oh, in the office. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Oh? Oh, is it the cutscene for the start of the game? Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way I stopped making decisions. I became lazy. And I came up with... Well, 
came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take mm -hmm. care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling this story so very much. Okay, here we go. This <laughs> is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, so wait, is it literally just looped back to the very beginning? Okay, we're still in two. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? This is different. Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Oh, uh, I did you. The embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket oh, tightly left. to his chest and entered the door on his left. I want to go to the office this time. Oh wait, is this all? Oh, it's back to normal now. Stanley needed what? The warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh man. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no remaining stickers. <laughs> if I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Mine. Okay, fine, I'll leave. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Wait, is the figure back in here for some reason? No. Money in the morning, morning in the evening. No, it's gone back. It's the same now. But I'm assuming when I finish the game now, though, he's going to actually retire me. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Okay, yeah, there's no figure around here. I'm gonna just, I guess, like... I'm gonna do the turn on the mind control thing and just see what happens from there. I'm assuming something will change and then maybe I'll actually leave it there. Um, Stanley and the bucket I might keep playing the something else so. red mind control facility. Because obviously there is actually just so many times I can listen to the same dialogue before I just want to watch the others play the game. On an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. Oh, man, I'm still stuffed from earlier. I just I ate fucking a wrap and a fucking sandwich like earlier before starting the stream. The monitors jumped to life. I felt so Stanley greedy because it just one after show. another as well. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like, like a guinea pig. pig. The Bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst, burst into, into tears, tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Man, I could never the hope to write the in the way this game writes. It's just so well. clever and had it's just so well done. Told to do things, it didn't wish to do. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. 
his own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter, his one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the, the operation. operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would... But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped mm. in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all How along? Long? To take over the machine and claim the power. Actually, I should itself? be able to leave this for a second. How could Just the give bucket me a second. Be like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. <clears throat> Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. <laughs> it was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all, all over, over the, the world. world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hand, <laughs> the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here, here in, in this place, place, living through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was, was happy. happy. And end. Right, what's going to happen after this then? Does it just restart? Oh, it just restarts. I thought for I thought the narrator was gonna be like, okay, lol, you're done now. Uh, we're gonna just close everything. I guess not. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders? Yeah, no, this is in? thing. How is that possible? Hmm. They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Oh yeah, no, I already checked things. So the office is still yeah, back to Stanley normal, isn't it? If the office is normal, that's where I'll leave this right and now. Left. And then maybe at some point time I'll come back in if I want to learn the secrets. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's not any different now. Okay, grand. I think I've played the game all that I can. There's not much else I could really do in it without like slamming my head against things. I was surprised I even figured out at the end like how to get all the figurines, honestly. Ugh. Right, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quit the menu. Wait. We have an epilogue option. So we have an epilogue. I, I was literally about to quit. I was like, wait, what's epilogue? And they light it up as well. So like. Hold on. Oh, he was saying that he wanted to add an epilogue to the game. Many, many years later. Oh! Wait, what? We're back here? Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Okay, I guess now we're in the middle of the desert. I'm not stopping yet until we do, do this now. I was literally just about to say, okay, let's go back to Portal Reloaded and see if I can complete that, but... Oh, okay. Oh! Nice, lovely fire. Like, deserts are extremely cold at night. It's, like, ridiculously cold. Wait, can I leave, though? I just want to keep going. Oh. oh wow, okay, we're going through the storms now. We have office chairs everywhere. I haven't seen any other office equipment yet though. 
Now you can tell the music is loud for me because I've just raised my voice a bit. <laughs> I should have refilled my like flask of water when I had the chance. Yeah, shit, it's all out. It's weird to think it's almost July. I've almost, like, on the 15th of July, that's when I've been streaming for two months in a row without stopping. If I do, obviously, continue to stream every single day. I thought about it, but I'm like, ah, you know what, I'll go on holiday first and at least have to streak up to there. Oh, we're returning back to this. <laughs> to the memory zone. And the narrator is like long dead, probably, maybe. You're telling me I can die from jumping off a thing once, but I can't like die when I'm out in the desert with nothing. The Stanley Parable 2. Oh, in losing memory. In loving memory, sorry, of the Stanley Parable 2. Man, what? Just, again, when I was just about to leave the game, then they show me this, like. The only thing that's lit in the room, Joe. Cookie9's blog <laughs> on compromising gaming content reviewed the Stanley Parable 2. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how true disappointed I am with its sequel. Where the first game teamed with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fan base. Rather than expanding on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory nobody asked for. An infinite deep hole? Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead, we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. I must say, though, I found the bucket to be quite comforting. A welcome <laughs> uh, reprieve from... Dot, dot, dot. Okay, wait, let's see what all the other recent posts were. Stanley Parable 2. Sorry, I haven't been blogging much. Review. S-N-A-R-F-3. Projected posts. Cookies Corner. We need to talk about sequels. Uh, Go Guy Review thing. <laughs> Piss Order 0999. Uh, Boblin. Boblin again. Uh, Go Guy. And then there's archives from September, maybe even August 2012. Or, yeah, 2012. So before the Stanley Parable came out. Cat Dog Born. <laughs> That's cool. The one review that remains in all of this, I'm assuming. Oh, never mind, there's more. Buttons. <gasps> Name buttons! Can I press them? Jim. <gasps> Jim. Jim. Let's go! We got the name buttons back. Stanley Parable developers, no more spin offs, no more sequels. When the Stanley Parable launched as uh, to massive success in 2013, its creators made plans to build the property into an entire franchise, but a disastrous critical and commercial reception of the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambitions. As outlined in, the, uh, 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 in a press release they published today, it's clear that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want, uh, reads the press release. We thought that we had a vision for the series that players would be excited about, yet it turns out this could uh, not have been further from the truth. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it, it, oh yeah, you just go around the rock, Joe. It's not any different, like. <gasps> it's Tang. Oh, it's more gym buttons. I love the way there's just corners of the gym buttons, like. Maybe if you press one of them, it'll say a different name. Or it'll actually say your Steam name or something. <gasps> the figures! Is that all? 26?
Oh, wow. Oh, wait. I, oh, I didn't even mean to do that. I, th I was going to look around the room more. Oh! It's the guy from the start before we even played the game. Hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not scared. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't mistake, make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together, we are going to make this deadly parable 3. It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also really need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead, try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. Okay, so employee of the ice cream. Wait, can I keep clicking it? The ice cream grilled... No, grilled ice cream. Wait, employee of the ice cream. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go with that. Stanley Parable 3. Employee of the ice cream. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll adv advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end, and nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content recycled again and again and again with the, a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? L I like it. But I want you to have all the say as well. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Good. Then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And do you know what? Since you've put fate in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. Alright, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. Uh, we're in this together. I didn't get the achievement. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only... Uh, yeah, it can only spiral on it in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. Well, man, we've been going at this for hours now. Um, oh, wait. What am I doing? 2.44. Oh, wrong way. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Why is there a car? You are playing the Stanley Parable 3, employee of the ice cream. So I can click epilogue again or begin the game. Okay, you know what? Fine, we'll begin the game just to see if that changes anything. I don't think it will. This is the story. No, okay, so we're just going back in here. The sequel is now paused. It's not red anymore, which means we've. Wow. God, this is. Oh. Okay, now we can stop. <laughs> stop here, Joe. Do not let it control you. Stop it right now, whilst you have the chance. Okay, quit the menu. So he says the next time I come into the game to play it, I'm not going to do it now because then it'll just be the Stanley Parable 4 and we'll pick some random words. Quit the desktop. Oh my god. Bruh, my fucking... Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to... I'm going to open P Portal Reloaded and uh, Discord real quick. Because I still need to ask Brandon if he actually does have thing or not. Oh, he's got thing.
today. I don't think he's on though, actually. I have to leave that on so I can hear it if he does reply. Right. Oh yeah, sorry, I need to change uh, to Stanley Parable 2 and then... Oh yeah, I literally, every title, I should just update it, so like... <laughs> oh, okay, no, never mind. Uh, so, the Stanley pr uh, Plus Portal relo Reloaded. There we go. That's annoying when that does that. Uh, portal 2. There we go. Done. Three times for luck. Continue playing. Select. Hopefully with some time away from the game I'll know so oh wait, I need I need water. Hold on. Give me a sec. Right, okay, so this is where I was. Let me just that. Uh, um What's the timer for? Oh, so that's until it drops it. Okay, so... Okay, Joe, remember, you have the past and present. And you need to be able to get the cube over here somehow. So... Okay, for the time being, just do this. Oh, yeah, no, that's what the issue was. I couldn't race back here fast enough. How? Because, like, there's no physical way you can go from here to there. See, the cube's already gone through. And there's no way I can... Again, I'm probably just thinking about this too hard. This <laughs> is thunk. Okay, so that cube is still there. I need you to launch over there. But I can't get over there unless I'm in the past. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's literally like that, isn't it? And then if I go... Back through here. Oh, but that's the issue though, Joe. You can't... You need to reset the cube to do that. Ah, huh, that, that's a big issue. <laughs> it's just like, okay, wait, I can do it. I just need... No, yeah, if you reset that and thing... Okay, so... Yeah, just go through that portal with that cube. Wait. Uh, hold on, let me just leave that there so it's visible. Um. Okay, yeah, that cube should be there. So that means I go through here. Put you right here. Go back through time. Oh, but if I do that, then... Oh, wait, yeah. No. Yeah, Joe, how do you rush back then? Okay, we could do that. But the timer is still the same. And there's only water down there. Oh, let me just have a quick look over. Okay, hold on, let me just step in here. 
So... Uh, Cause there's no way I can run back here fast enough. Cause I'd have to do that, do this, put that there and that there. Okay, maybe there is actually. So No, but you'd have to... Oh, yeah, see, so you'd have to stand on that, though. But that would mean you'd need a cube. But cube is already here. And you can't... You can't bring... Okay. Back to past. Okay. That cube can't move this one. If I move this cube, it fucks everything over. We've orange here, so we'll put blue here. Get out of the room. Leave orange in there for now. Yeah, but this is your issue now. How do you make a cube go flying through that? You can't. Because you can only make it go bounce into here. But even then, I don't think that's going to be enough for it to fly through there. Hence this example. Take that you have that there and this here. You do that. And the cube goes flying. But it's not enough momentum... For it to continue through there. Do you get what I mean, Joe? So, like, when you do that. Then do that. Yeah, see, it's not enough. It's just hanging on the edge of its life. Yeah, there's no way, because, like, this is on that right now, and it should be doing exactly this. So, like, if I just move that slightly, that should be activating that. But the issue now is that, like, if I do thing, the cube's not going to work. Because it's going to move if I do that. And again, it's not enough to go through there. So I need to find a clever way of being able to switch around through time? Are you sure, Joe? It might just be stupid to work. No, legit, it might actually just be stupid enough to work. Okay, so you're telling me you need to do that, put a thing down, so when it goes back into the present, you're already putting a portal back here to go back there. Okay, okay, I got... Okay, let's trial and error it. Okay, it's true. Where'd it go? Okay, it must have been too high for it. I can't move it. That's it! Let's fucking go! Oh my god, my brain cells. Good. In case you were curious, no. We cannot make infinite clones of you because of the stupid rules of quantum mechanics. <laughs> Only once you die can we take your atoms and recreate your body for continued perpetual testing. Man, I need to remember that I have this other portal that I can use. It's not just, like, blue and orange anymore.
Blue representing Wheatley and orange representing GLaDOS, definitely. Because they definitely planned that. These lasers should provide a fun change of pace. Please be aware that some test elements may only be functional in one timeline. Oh, so it's telling me the lasers might only be pre like functional in the present and not in the past. So if I do... Ha. Huh. Oh, I just can't mark that at all. Okay. But they still want me to go in the past, correct? Okay, maybe don't do that there, Joe. Yeah, so you see the laser's not working anymore. But that doesn't mean you can't... Oh my god. Okay, I see what it wants me to do. I just need to be smart about it. How, though? Hmm. Okay. Whew! This is really rattling my brain. Because you can't put any other portal thing except that there. Because if you move that and put something else there... Because obviously it'd be easy if you do that. But you can. So I need... Yeah, obviously that's not going to work that easy. Sorry, excuse me, laser. Oh! Oh, the laser doesn't even hurt me in this. That's handy. Okay, but now how do I do that? Is there like something I'm missing in this room? Nope. Okay, but I can get the laser through. It's now just a matter of like figuring out what I do from here. Because if I do that, obviously that's not going to work. It's not as easy as that. Hmm. And all the inf Ow, okay, now it's hurting me. Why? Why did it randomly hurt me? I'm so confused. Okay. Right. Joe, you're thinking too, like, too open-mindedly. You need to think a bit simpler. Okay, your goal, Joe... Is to get portal onto both surfaces, okay? So to do that, you need this here. You need ah, and then that's going through. Uh, okay, so that'll go through orange. Great. By now, you might be wondering how it is possible to hear these automated messages. Regardless of which timeline you're in, we implanted a small device directly into your brain. <laughs> that way, you can hear these messages as if they were the voice of your own conscience. Well, they practically are, considering how much of your cerebral cortex we had to remove to make this work. Damn. Ah. Uh. Oh, a laser's working now. Ow. Okay, so for some reason, the past laser's not working, but the future one is. And we haven't got... Oh, wait, we have cubes. Where... Oh, okay, here's the cube. And we need to use the combined powers of the past and the present... To be okay, so I need to put this cube 
Oh, I can't. Wait. Shit. Oh, yeah, so it's as simple as this, isn't it? Okay, so that's pointing the wrong way. You point it that way. Okay, you're almost there, Joe. Okay, I get the idea, but I need... How many open? Oh wait, I need this yoke on as well, do I? Bruh, oh my god. So I need the laser to tick all of them and that. Holy shit. To be clear, I can't bring that through. No, but if you move that now... Yeah, see, that's not gonna work. Do I have to do the past one or the present? See, that's another thing you have to think about as well. It's like, okay, am I doing this past or present? But I think it's the present this time. Do that. Okay, but make sure this actually turns to face that, though. So, alternatively, you'd have that going into there, it goes into there. Fucking hell, man. Okay, so, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, wait, no, take the cube out. Wait, what? Oh, because I, yeah, when I change it, that's why. Ow. Okay, and then the cube is still still. Okay, so that. Oh, yeah, shit, I, for I, I forgot that would do that as well. Fucking with so many things here. Okay, do not place in our portal. Wow. Okay. Whoo! Thank God. Unbelievable. Things are about to get a little more complicated in the next chamber, but don't lose hope. <laughs> Think about this. As long as you don't see your own corpse lying in the future, it is safe to assume that you solved the chamber sometime during the last 20 years. <laughs> I never thought of it like that. Actually, yeah, I would literally just see my own body on the ground. Um, okay, so... We have in here... Both lasers are on. I can get... Wait, I can't though. Okay, that's one. There's a cube you can pass up here. And you need the cube to push a button up there. I need to actually get to the fucking thing first. Yeah, and I can't go through there. Where? Okay, the cube button's up here. Oh, so I need an actual laser to... Oh, but I need... 
a portal through here so I can go back through time. Okay. Wait, so I need... Jesus, okay. I need this. Um... Wait. No, what I was doing before was fine. Yeah, if I do that... Oh, but yeah, no, Joe, if you go back in time, everything's going to be fucked up then. So you need... Yeah, you need this here. I don't know how to cancel the green one. Can I move it to the side? Not really working, Gajo. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, how about this? Move blue there. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, that's going directly out there from blue. So if that's going directly through blue, we can come back through here, place another portal back here, because blue has that, so we give orange that. Oh, but I need a laser to go through here as well. Okay, lovely. <laughs> lovely stuff. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely fan fleabantastic. How? Is it a simple case of just getting her laser through? Because we don't need shit on that end to be active. Ow. Wait, what was it, Joe? So you want me to put green there. Here, right? And then you want me to put orange here? Okay, that's that works. But how do we benefit from that when when we're not even in there? God. Oh my god. There you go, there, there's part of the door open. Okay, so... Wait, how's that lit up? I'm so confused from that. There must be some way... I can trick it. Okay, so you do that. But Joe, that ain't gonna work. Unless you have a laser that's already pointing through here. 
So you need to go back through here. Hopefully without dying. Go through this portal. Do that here as well. Go back through here. Put this through here. Because theoretically, there should be a laser pointing at that as well. No, there is not. That laser's directly from that one. Oh, because, yeah, okay, wait, I need to move. Okay, I've cut the line. I don't know how I just did that, but I just cut it. Oh my god, I think I need to just stop, man. Holy shit. Oh. Just give me a sec. I need to take a quick breather. Okay, he's not on yet. Um. Okay, no. Oh wait, the past portal stays, but that'll destroy every single one. That seriously does not help you. Unless you do something like this. Just two lasers pointing at each other. But that's kind of what you want, don't you? You want, like, one of each laser, correct? I seriously don't know. Oh, um... Oh, God. Hmm. Fucking hell, that scared the shit out of me. Yeah, okay, right. I'm gonna go off now. Because, um... Mate wants us. You probably just saw it there briefly, but... Yeah, it's probably something important, so... Ugh. I shall take my leave and go. My brain's getting rattled anyway from constantly... Trying to figure my way out through this. I'll be I'll be sure to either come back later and do this, or maybe just come back tomorrow. And when it comes to Stanley Parable, I don't know if I'm going to come back to the game. I think I'm going to watch some people play it first, and maybe play it myself, depending. Like, I don't know. Right. Thank you all so much for watching the stream. Uh, and yeah, see ya.